Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to make the most enigmatic, I guess, rum cocktails that people know about all over the world and people absolutely love to drink. Now we're using Bacardi because we're showcasing these really cool new bottles that actually use an old school style, which I really appreciate. And we're using it because uh, Bacardi was set up in the late 1800s. So they really have a long standing history in Cuba where the initial production was all made. And the Mojito and the Daiquiri were said to actually be created in Cuba also, but more in the late 1600s, I believe. So I've got a nice chilled glass. I like using cold glass because it just makes the cocktail just seem that much fresher. So we're gonna start off, obviously, with some mint. So the mojito is actually considered one of the most popular cocktails right now. I think in Britain, it is the most ordered cocktail. So you wanna take some mint, slap it a little bit just to get some of that flavor out, drop that into our glass. We're then gonna add some simple syrup to the whole mix. You can use some caster sugar here as well if you want to. We use a simple sugar here, nine or eight which is basically two to one sugar to water ratio. And we're gonna start really slowly by just muddling that together. You don't wanna muddle, when I see people like really go at it and muddle the mint and then you have all these pieces of mint kind of floating up, that's not what we want. What we want is just a nice firm press down to keep all the mint in the bottom, but at the same time release all its flavor and make sure that that sugar is imbibed with mint flavor. Once that's properly mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some lime juice. And then to that, we're gonna add some white Bacardi. So once that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and taste it to just kind of mix it a little bit. Give it a little dab on your hand. And if that flavor is there, we're good to go. So now all we need to do is add some ice. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to make the daiquiri. So the daiquiri is also a very traditional cocktail and it's made with the same base ingredients. That's why it's actually nice to make. And I love making cocktails that use really kind of just simplified ingredients. And as long as it's made properly, it tastes really good. So I've got one glass here. So I've got a coupe glass that's been chilled nicely. And then we're gonna go ahead and build the drink inside our shaker. So I'm gonna start off this time with some Bacardi Gold. To that, we're gonna add some simple syrup. So we could press these fresh, but I actually like using pre-pressed lime juice, just because you have more funk into it and it helps balance that daiquiri nicely. Mix that together, give it a taste. That's good to go too. And now we're just gonna fill that up with ice. You wanna get your shaker nicely filled up. And you're gonna give it a nice hard shake to make sure that all those pieces of ice just break and really dilute the drink nicely, but for not too long. So I'm gonna take my cold glass, just strain out everything. Make sure there's no residual water in there. And then we can go ahead and just pour everything in. Now for the mojito, we're just gonna fill that up with ice. Then we're gonna go ahead and just finish it up with some soda water. So here you can actually just eyeball it and just add in soda water, or if you wanna be really kind of careful about it, then you can measure it as well. So what I'm gonna do first is take my bar spoon, go from the bottom, since so there's soda water already, go from the bottom, and then just bring the spoon up. This will help kind of mix all the ingredients inside and help those bubbles come up as well. In goes our crushed ice. So that's why it's important to leave that space in that room. And basically that mojito is done. So now we're gonna go ahead and just garnish it a little bit of mint. And to garnish it, we use um, some powdered sugar. Don't worry, it's not actually baby powder. We just use it as a conversational piece here at the bar. And we're just gonna tap up some powdered sugar right on top. It just gives it that really kind of nice look. And then we'll finish off our daiquiri with just some nice kind of lime zests. I like doing this because it gives us some nice oil, but it also just looks really nice and clean. So drop those right in the middle. And those very simple steps lead you to make a beautiful mojito and a beautiful daiquiri, perfectly balanced, very boozy, just the way you want it.